Hey guys, Chris here with Omnimetrics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to log into our OmniView 2.0 portal where you can access all of your generator monitors. First things first, go to our website, omnimetrics.net, and it'll take you to the home screen. Now, there are a couple places that you can actually access the portal here, and I'm going to show you where those are. In the top right corner, you'll see a button that says OmniView 2.0. Red, just click that, it'll take you right to the portal. We just recently updated our navigation, so if you find OmniView in the navigation, the drop-down will give you OmniView login. That'll take you to the portal as well. Also, right here in the middle of the home screen, OmniView 2.0. All will take you to the login portal. Now, if you're on a mobile device, it'll look very, very similar. You'll have your OmniView 2.0 button at the top. Right at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the same one that you would find in the middle of the page. And let's just say you're on an installation page or another page on the site and don't see that. Hamburger menu in the top right corner will open up the navigation. You'll see OmniView, expand that, hit OmniView login, and it'll take you to the login screen. Once you get to the login screen, it's going to ask you for your username or email, as well as your password. It does give you the option to remember your password. I personally don't recommend that just from a caching standpoint, but also more importantly, from a security standpoint. Anybody who opens this browser or even knows the URL, the webdata.omnimetrics.net, it'll log them right into your account and give them full access to everything. So that is available, but again, personally, I don't recommend that. Should you forget your password, you can do the same thing. Follow those steps to get here. Just click Forgot Password, and it'll send you an email to your account for a password reset. Then it'll give you access back to it. So I'm going to type in my email and my password, and it'll log me into the portal. Now, once you get to your main dashboard, I'll show you a couple places where you can update your profile as well as if you have any questions or need tutorial videos where to find those. So in the top right corner, once you log in, you'll be able to see your name. If you expand out, this is where you will log out at the end of your session. I highly recommend logging out at the end of every session. Again, just from that security standpoint, if someone opens the browser or takes your computer, it can automatically open. If you need to change your password, just click Change Password. It'll ask you for your new password twice just to verify. You can see your login attempts. So if you've been trying to log in or let's just say there's a security question, you can see where those uh, login attempts were coming from, as well as you can also add a profile picture as well. Now. One thing we will be adding here in the very near future is two-factor and multi-factor authentication. If you're not familiar with that, what it is is once you type in your password, it will actually send you an email with a unique code, and it'll be each time you log in. But that unique code, you just type it in, and then it'll actually give you access. It's just another layer of security that you're seeing with a lot of different websites and, and software, but uh, we will be adding that here soon. If you want to go ahead and add it, here's where you would do that. On the left-hand side, you'll see Configuration. Go down to Users. Once your user comes up, just hit Action once you find your user, and then Edit. And then this checkbox right here, Multi-Factor Authentication, check it, hit Save, and it'll actually enable that Multi-Factor Authentication. Now, should you have any questions once you get into the portal, uh, there's another area that I always want to show in all these videos that we're going to start doing, and it's the customer support section here. The link to video tutorials will take you to our YouTube page where we're going to be posting a lot of videos just like this uh, that'll help walk you through this back end, or if you forget how to do something, uh, it'll save you time not having to call into our tech support. It can kind of give you a little walkthrough. Uh, should you need to talk to our uh, customer support, just click the customer support form and, and one of our team members will reach out to you. You can also click the OMV 2.0 feedback. This will enable you to give us feedback on what you think about the platform. Is there any feature that you want to see that, you, that would help you out that you maybe don't? Uh, just helps us kind of enhance the back end tool for you uh, and, and really grow it. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and log out. Uh, on behalf of Omnimetrics, I want to say thank you for your support and partnership. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in more videos like this next time. Have a great one.